Hey, hi, hello, welcome to my channel. I'm Chloe, and today we're gonna do kind of a vlog style video again. I know I'm going to spill the tea about overtone because I have a lot to say. I have a lot to say about that. We're gonna do some stuff outside, look for some animals. That's all I can think of at the moment. More may come, more may not, I don't know. Before we do anything, please give me a like and subscribe to really support my channel and see more of me. And let's get started. Hey, I just wanted to update you with my hair color while the sun is still up and uh, before I wash it again. But as you can see, all of the orange that was in my roots is gone after one wash. One wash. And more on that later. <laughs> I'm about to go run some errands, but first, look how cute my hair is. And it matches my shirt. I got some butterfly clips and I was very excited to wear them. OMG, look at me, I'm a car vlogger. <laughs> I went to a little park to go on a short walk. It's just a small little path. I didn't stay very long which I didn't plan to anyway because it's a small path, but this guy was walking behind me and it was just weird, I don't know. There's a handful of cars here, but nobody's outside at the park, so it's kind of a little sus. Yesterday I found out that someone who I watch on TikTok and YouTube almost got trafficked. It was really scary, so. This guy was just walking behind me and this path kind of leads to nowhere and I've never actually seen anyone walk on it besides myself, so it was kind of weird. He also walked through the grass at one point and just skipped the path, so I was like, eh, eh. a little weird. It was freaking me out a little bit. So I heard someone playing basketball and went towards their house, and it was like perfect timing right when this guy like came out, because the path goes into a neighborhood. So once he came into the neighborhood, oh my God, he's back. I will actually finish this story, I'm gonna leave. I'm in the Sonic driveway right now. I'm getting a drink that I can add some tequila to. I just want a drink. The guy that was playing basketball, he dropped his ball and it went towards me. So I did get a chance to interact with him. And by the time that was over, I turned around and the other guy was gone. So I headed back to my car, but then once I was talking, that guy came back and his car was not in the lot. So I think, I made a good decision on leaving and avoiding that guy because I'm not sure what was going on there. It was kind of weird. I was going to work on my zoology lab a little bit, so this time we have to find one reptile, which I already got, seven birds, and I have two. I got a duck and a woodpecker. I've never actually seen a woodpecker, but I saw one in action. It was kind of wild and so loud. <laughs> and two mammals. So I'm planning to either try to get a squirrel, a bunny, or a deer, and then five more birds. This one's way easier than the last one, especially since I found the reptiles. I found two reptiles actually unplanned on accident, it just happened. Um, so that is helpful. Well, the air is gonna last forever, so I'm sorry, but I am about to film the intro, hee <laughs> hee and also a sit down video, which will be pretty fun. I'm not sure what is coming out first, this one or that one, but we'll see. It took me forever to figure out the lighting and literally the moment I was about to press start, the air conditioner started. I just finished filming. I feel like that was a good one. <laughs> I'm going to take some thumbnail pictures and I have had one drink almost, not quite, and I'm probably about to make another. Goose just popped up here to play fetch. Hi, baby goose. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Good boy. What was that? Yeah. <laughs> You're so cute. Mm hmm. What? Oh, God. Well, okay.
I wish the lighting was a bit brighter, but this is a completo, essentially. It's a Chilean hot dog. I did study in Chile and we ate these there, but I used a meatless soy-free chorizo. My favorite one is the Simple Truth one from Kroger. It is way cheaper than the one at Whole Foods. You get more of it and it's soy-free. But there is mayonnaise on the bottom and then I added mashed avocado and pico, which is essentially what they do in Chile as well. I got the pico from Whole Foods and it is like the worst looking pico I've ever seen in my life. It has like no moisture to it. So that's, um, that's fun, but it is super good. I already took a bite. Hello, I'm on a walk. I hope you can hear me. I was going to work on the zoology lab a bit, but I found deer which was the whole purpose of me coming to this part. But they're too far away to get a picture of to actually like identify them. And this area is really swampy, so I don't really want to walk through it. <laughs> I did get some pictures of a deer, so that's good. It kind of sucked though, because there's so many gnats out here and if you stop for even a second, they just like flock on you. The houses out here are insane. I'm gonna go elsewhere for the rest of the lab. The trees out here are really, really tall. I um, can't see any right now, but I'll show you in a sec. I got toasty, but this is the park that all the fit people come to and they're all running by or zooming on their bikes and I'm like, just walking. So I know I said I would spill the tea on overtone. So my hair, I mean, other than the color of washing out or of the brown, the people look great. <laughs> Honestly, their hair looks great. It says like blue for brown hair. And the girl has like bright blue hair with her dark roots and it looks great. And then you go click on them and her hair was blue be before she's overtone. And that's how it is with all of them. So they say for brown hair, but it's not, they're lying. They lighten all the hair that they use. So, mm, is that false advertising? <laughs> Plus, they say it's a conditioner. Um, I found it like damaging to my hair, which is unfortunate since it didn't even last. But there's also been some issues people have had um, in the salon. So people try to lift overtone out of their hair and it won't come out because it's more similar to a fabric dye than hair dye. It's a textile dye, which is just wild to me to think about. So when you try to lift it and then you wash it, like it, it, it just <laughs> seeps further into your hair. That's an issue. It's really expensive. It's over $30 for the stuff that dyes your hair. And then it's another I don't remember what it is to get the the daily conditioner like honestly that's so expensive <laughs> when arctic fox like works for months like laps for months and is way cheaper and you get more of it the ingredient list is also like three times the length of the arctic fox ingredient list and i just don't know why you need that many oils <laughs> like there's peppermint oil in it which is pretty weird well spirit spearmint which I think is kind of weird. And someone else had the same experience as me, but my, my scalp like burned for a couple days after. And I don't know if it was from the overtone or something else, but that sucked. But someone said that when they used it, it felt like they had bleach on their scalp. So that's my opinion on the product. I will never buy it again. I just wanted to be completely honest with you and update you on what I think, but I'll never buy it again, but I'm against waste. So, I will just save it for a different time when I want to actually do orange because um, I, I wanted yellow hair. <laughs> I wanted it to fade from orange to yellow, but it's just orange. Uh, I'm going to finish walking. I don't know if I'll see you again today, but the next time I'll see you is when I'm meal prepping. So I might chop up the veggies tonight. 
and do all the cooking tomorrow. But I'll see you when I see ya. Hi, Goosey. Goose. You're so cute. Mm -hmm. So I got my vaccine and it made me really tired and I didn't meal prep and therefore did not film an outro. It is what it is. So this is my outro, I guess. Goodbye. I'll see you next Tuesday.